Hey folks, this is IOE throwing so back with some more World of Tanks. So as you can see, this is Mojo. He is in his M41 Bulldog. It's a tier 8 game on a Redshire, and it's an encounter battle. Ooh. So this thing used to be an autoloader and be very good at it. Um, and then Wargaming decided they didn't want it to be an autoloader anymore, and they destroyed the, uh, the part of it that made it so awesome and unique. And so now it's just run of a mill scout tank. It's not bad, but it's not good anymore. <laughs> and I used to love it, and now I just like it. I'm really sad. So he really, really wants to shoot at that guy, but obviously doing so will reveal his position and get him killed. He's quite far pushed up um, past where his friendlies are, and there is no one who's going to be able to help him. If uh, it turns out that somebody realizes where he is. Uh, this bush line is not used all that often. It's not the best in the world for spotting. But you can definitely get some spotting damage from here. Uh, if you want a better uh, bush line. Then you're going to have to push up way up here. The problem with being way up here is you're a lot more exposed. If you don't get there uh, before a certain amount of time. You know, before... Basically, if you're not starting in the right position, don't go as fast as possible, and you can't hit 60 kilometers per hour, you're not going to get to the bushes before you get lit. And then if you get lit in that position, you're just going to die. Um, or if an enemy skip tank wanders into you, you're just going to die. So this is a less aggressive position. It's better for um, staying alive, and it's actually fairly decent for spotting. He's gotten 1,200 throwing damage just from being in this position so far this game. And so, I mean, if you're looking for a spot to sit that's not way back here, then this is probably the spot for you. Way back there at that bush, you can shoot. But spotting is a lot less um, of a thing. Whereas down here, you can spot and you can shoot. And you can get better spots but of course shooting from here is going to start to reveal you so only do it when it's necessary and if somebody doesn't start taking the caps down it's going to be necessary he really wants to take this shot oh, I can feel it okay well somebody is is doing work on the caps oh good okay Artillery just knocked off a ton of of the caps, so that's good. Um, and I swear, this game gets better. I know, right now, everybody's like, if, if this is just going to be a scout game, I'm not going to sit through it. I promise you, wait for it. Okay? Have I ever lied to you guys? Don't answer that. <laughs> but I promise you, this, this gets so much better. And it's worth the wait. I am going to speed it up a little bit, though, um, until either he fires or we start moving, because there we go. This is when he's choosing to act with 10 seconds left on this cap. He's got to go in. He doesn't have any more options, and he's just shooting the KV-2 on the move while he goes in anyway, because what else is he going to shoot? Reams. Oh, artillery gives him the advantage. He has just a few seconds to get into this cap and do something. And artillery reset this guy just before we got here. So we take him out. But without the RD reset, this game would have been over. Now, we got to get to the other side and finish off the guys on the other side. But of course, there's three of them and there's only really one of us. Because that guy is almost dead. <laughs> we know he's going to die. Wait. No! The enemy is not looking at him. They're actually focusing on us. Instead of killing the Flat Panther, this right beside him, this LTTB is focusing on trying to kill us. That's funny. All you had to do was kill the Flat Panther, and then we would have been in a much, much worse situation. But instead of killing the Flat Panther, they just decide they're going to try and kill us. And obviously, that did not end well for them. Partly because we got a flat panzer shooting them in the back. <laughs> I don't know what this KV-2 is looking at, but he is not looking at us. 
He's auto locked onto something. Uh, maybe the J Panther? Either way, he was not thinking about the scare tank behind him. <laughs> She's dumb. Okay, we're gonna go this way. Oh, as artillery takes out the J Panther. And we're gonna pop up over this ridge looking for the SU 100. There is only a few tanks left in the game. We know that the SU-100 is probably around here somewhere. The T-34 is here. The KV-3 was last spot over there. Most likely it's still in that area. Ooh, SU-100. Um, yeah, he's he's dead. <laughs> he's, there's no way he gets out of that one. Um, so now we only got a couple allies left, including the J-Panther, who's on 10 health. Uh, and apparently, we're just going to find all the enemies, because the T-34A5 is chasing us. The KV-3's got to be around here somewhere, and we just killed artillery. Um, so... <laughs> yes, this thing fires APCR standard, by the way, if you didn't notice. Oh, look, there's the KV-3. You're going to have to stop reversing over ridge lines if you actually want to pen him. There you go, Mojo. Good job. Oh, oh no! Wait, that's him. He's is he derping? I got nothing. I don't. <laughs> I got nothing. Okay, so we're gonna go hunt down this KV three. Now we know at last where he was. Um, he can't be all that far away, he's at KV-3. And... Of course, we bounce off his back end. Somebody's gonna get the kill. Nope! Maybe? Maybe? Yeah, there we go. And the base is captured for the win. That is how you scout, guys. That's how you scout. Pull up into a gray spot until about halfway through the battle when everybody's distracted and low health and not paying attention to you. And then just blast in there and take them all out good job great game by the way mojo and um if you're wondering stay tuned and there is a bonus clip with an actual auto loader <laughs> we'll see that oh but first i should probably do the bounce <laughs> game results so ace tanker obviously a spotter fire effect hand of god bruiser and a duelist well done 17 bonds. One of them is for the Delangate Metal. And that's just for destroying... Er, yeah, you have to destroy four enemies. Four enemies within the cap circle over the course of a game. Right? Wow. And then, of course, the Radley Walters, High Caliber, and Top Gun. Yeah. Yeah, he doesn't have enough awards. Let's give him more. Oh, man, the money that would have been rolling in had this been a grand finals. Um, Bulldog, instead of just a regular one, but still completely worth it. Well done, sir. Thank you for saying this in. Almost 3,000 damage. Good lord. And 1,400 base experience. That is remarkably high. Um, but... But okay, I'm just gonna forget about that. Thing. It didn't. Th nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Not thinking about it anymore. <laughs> Two thousand assistance damage. Three thousand actual damage done. This was a good game. Thank you so much, Mojo, for saying it. In. I can't wait to see your next one, sir. You always send me good stuff. And. Uh, yeah, I'm still going to squeeze in the bonus clip, so we'll see you. Uh, stay tuned for that, and um, have a great night. This is Iowa.